Hey, it's Davis, and if you're looking to control your blood sugar, maybe like drive it down because you're sick or whatever, or maybe just drive it down in general, well, that's exactly what we're gonna cover. Let's get right to it. So before I say another word, huge shout out to Gabriel Moreno, okay? Huge, huge shout out. A lot of credit goes to you, sir, uh, absolutely for inspiring this video. So Gabriel actually had showed um, a, a post, if you will, showing how you know stress had uh, driven up his blood sugar and then how he was able to quickly bring it back down. So huge shout out to Gabriel. At the same time, you know, if you are, you know, type two diabetic, look, whether you're looking to control your blood sugar for yourself, the people that you love, or even for the people that love you, know right now that you're absolutely not alone, that my heart is with you and I sincerely believe that you have every single thing that it takes within you to crush type two diabetes on your own terms. Don't let anyone ever take that from you. All right. So in fact, like if you think any of this is helpful, you know, for you, I made you a free gift. Yes. I know I didn't tell you I made a, made you a gift, but yes, I made you a free 21 day blood sugar challenge where I reveal, I just yank back the covers on a lot of different things. And I share with you all kinds of stuff from like the simple highlighter trick that I use to shortcut the success behind a lot of these different type two diabetic diets out there with a lot of, a lot of, without a lot of the headache, the strain and the pressure that causes a lot of us to fail. Right. I'll also share with you like how I lost my first 75 pounds without any drugs exercise or any hardcore dieting whatsoever along with a free or the three-step a1c shortcut that changed everything okay like if you want to be able to like slice right through a diet and really just kind of like figure out like what's working what's not working so that way you can take that pressure off your shoulders and maybe even just be yourself that three-step uh, shortcut for me changed everything okay and you can get it for free at lifeovertype2.com backslash 21 days again this life over type 2.com backslash 21 days now let's get on with how to lower your blood sugar whether you're sick or whether you're even just high in general let's get to it right now so if you are feeling a little bit sniffy you got a runny nose if you don't feel so great or whatever here is basically what i do i start with this stuff here okay a little bit of water all right inside of it i'm gonna be adding some a little bit of apple cider vinegar okay now this stuff naturally you know can be really really tart super super sharp right and there's usually a couple of different ways to bring that down in this instance an option that you can always use is stevia right for me i mean for me i'll be taking this stuff um straight okay um now also um another way to bring in not only some vitamin c but also to take away the tartness from this guy is going to be some citrus right in this case i'm gonna be using some lemon little uh, you know the little lemon i got here from trader joe's um this stuff i also got this stuff from uh costco um it's uh you know all italian volcano look like why is it volcano i guess supposedly the ashes from the volcano makes these things glow in the dark and they solve world peace whatever i'm just showing this because you know it's a really easy alternative um at the same time i'm throw in a little bit of ground cinnamon okay ground ground cinnamon and real quick let me show you just how effective this stuff is so let me pull out my little blood monitor here okay hold on let me see okay here's what i mean okay so a couple of days ago is when i started to get sick okay and this is my morning reading okay 7 41 so if you ever have high blood sugars and you're um, you know in the morning when you're sick um, two reasons for me, I'm one of these people with the Dawn's phenomenon, right? So I get these uncontrollable blood sugar spikes. It is controllable, good news there. Um, if you wanna see how to do that, you can go ahead and just um, you know, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll actually show you how I do that. Um, however, for this instance, um, two reasons, right? So whenever we get sick, bad sleep, whatever, we can actually have high blood sugars, okay? Perfect instance, okay? So watch this, 142. And then, um, you know, it kind of came down. I probably did like a walk or something like that. And then check this out. Like even like later in the day, still the same. And then watch this, watch what happened the next day. Boom, it came up, okay? This for me, I'm recording this on the 7th. So this was actually yesterday, okay? So yesterday morning, um, this happened. I basically was like, whoa, dude, that's crazy, right? So like the previous day, this is like a uh, 142. is like a six point. If we pull out like an A1C scale, it's something maybe like a 6.4 if I had a guess, right? Which 6.3, something like that, which is honestly, some people, it's okay. You know what I mean? Um, I think with the new guidelines, it should be all right, but whatever, okay? So yesterday I was here, okay? And here's basically all I'm doing, okay? So I'm gonna take a little bit of this stuff here, mix it up, and then yesterday I basically just kind of ate 
low carb, okay? Like not necessarily super keto. I guess you can go keto. I wasn't looking at fat at all, really. Um, I was just, whenever I ate it, I ate it. So for example, I just had a couple of omelets. I kind of kept it real easy um, because my son was getting really, really sick. He was passing around the house and I just felt like a turd, okay? So this is the magic sauce. And, um, oh yeah, speaking of which, this was my today's morning number, okay? So for me, um, you know, for some people, they're actually kind of stoked to still see this number. For me personally, this is still kind of high. For me, I normally walk around in like the 80s, um, like mid to mid to like high 80s sometimes, maybe even the 90s, just depending on what I had that day or how my, slept, my sleep was or whatever, right? So here's how I pull this off, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna take this stuff here. Boom. A little sprinkly dinkly this stuff start with the powder right it doesn't have to go too crazy i mean some people you can but i'm not gonna go too too nutty right. after that we got some apple cider vinegar um i guess i will do a couple of drops of the stevia okay right here now here's the secret okay here is the secret depending on how you feel about this monkey right here okay this stuff right here um, I would actually say start a little bit light for me just because I've been messing with um, apple cider vinegar and because of the way that the citrus will typically kill a lot of that um, acidity or at least override it because this is acidic as well, obviously, right? Um, once we mix this with this, you can almost, depending on how much of this you put in there, if you put a bunch of lemon and a bunch of this in there, you're basically making lemonade. Ooh, right? Whoever thought you can have, like, help lower your blood sugar and control it with something as simple as like that. Anyways, check that out, give it a shot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just swig this stuff down. You know what I mean? Um, this stuff works phenomenally well. Okay. Super, super well. And uh, yeah, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. The cool thing about those numbers is that that's 100% drug free. Okay. 100% drug free. Um, you know, I'm not. Uh, so the cool thing there is that if you are taking medications, okay, um, that your numbers probably might even come down better than mine, right? Everybody's body's a little bit different. Okay. Some might stay a little higher. Some might come, you know, to the same as mine because they might be taking medicines and some are going to come a lot, be get a lot better results than mine. Okay. The cool thing about it is, is let me uh, be the first to tell you right now, if no one's ever really told you that the truth, the absolute truth about blood sugar is, is that um, it's kind of like gas prices. Okay. It kind of like does this. Okay, um, over time, so it's kind of like a downward trend, or you know, obviously, if you slip and go sideways, sure, it might you know skyrocket up, or even sometimes it's, it's a trend going up. Okay, at the same time, like here's the deal, okay, like here's the absolute truth. So when we understand like that is actually what's happening, <clears throat> it allows us to like make peace with sometimes when we see the numbers coming up a little higher than what we expected. Okay, it's all good, it's all natural. More than anything, it's just really us allowing our bodies to say, hey. Here's what's working, here's not. Here's what's not working, and here's what's going on, okay? Um, so I hope that serves you well, okay? Because the more that, uh, the more that we uh, you know, understand that, the more that we become educated, right? And at the end of the day, the more that we are empowered, it's much harder for any of us to play any of us or take anything from us when we've done, um, you know, the work, right? So high five to you, um, you know, if you stuck with me this far. If you'd actually like to see with these highs in my blood sugar, okay? I'll tell you right now, like this morning, it was high again. I did not take that drink last night when I should have. And um, I'm really just kind of up right now. I'm shopping for my wife's birthday. Um, at the same time, I took, you know, I drink a bunch of coffee, took some cough medicine this morning that has Excedrin, um, that has uh, caffeine in it, right? So uh, my blood sugar was up, uh, I think like to, back to like 150 this morning, right? And so, yeah, you know, if all I would have done is had the drink last night, probably would have done a lot better, but hey man, not everybody's perfect. It's okay. It's just part of the journey and uh, 
we got this, right? So if you wanna see my blood panel results, how I'm able to get it down, like back into the 80s, the 90s with very little work, how I'm able to do it, like, you know, eating foods that I already love, you can get that for free at lifeovertype2.com backslash 21 days. And you can also like and subscribe this if it helped you any, you know, at all, at all, at all. And so, uh, yeah, I hope it serves you well. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Now, before I say another word, so before I say another word, oops. So before I say another word, a huge shout out to uh, to this goes out to goes you no know, prior to getting stressed out. How's all? Damn it! <laughs> so I'm shopping for my wife right now, and uh, <laughs> I'm trying to record at the same time. And then this lady totally just saw me stuttering over and over and over. It was like laughing. I almost wanted to pull her over and give her like a high five and be like, "Yes, yes, I'm a goofball." All right, here we go.